everybody, this is Vincent from Wolfland Productions. Uh, today I'll be showing you something not really new, but uh, it deals with the zoo and so far I have not seen a lot of videos about it. Uh, what it is, is I made a video with the uh, XP model uh, computer for the Xbox 360 to a computer. Now I'm going to make a Vista one. This one's a little bit more uh, advanced, but it's pretty simple to understand. First what you'll have to do is go to your network. Go to this two monitor on your board, then uh, click it once, then go to network and sharing center. Next make sure that your media sharing is on. Next you'll have to open up the Windows Media Player. If you have an, a Vista, it's already updated. If you have an XP, update it. Go to Library, click on Library, and go to Media Sharing. Now in case your Xbox 360 does not appear, uh, what you'll want to do is uh, <clears throat> Go to your Xbox 360 and try to make it connect to your computer. It won't connect because it says it won't allow it, but then your computer will see that it's trying to get on. Then you need to click on Xbox 360, go what? Then click allow, apply, and then OK. Now let's get to the part about the Zoom. If you have a Zoom, then you know about this. Go to your settings and make sure you're under software, then go to Xbox 360. Here it is, and make sure you go to media, music, do all the Music, videos, and pictures, uh, name your collection, uh, that will appear up on there, and you can share all the available stuff with the Xbox 360. Click OK, and then you're done for that part. You don't have to have your Zoom hooked up, but I like to just for safety purposes. Make sure it's all completely right on. Alright, now we're at the Xbox part. Now, you've already had set up, everything's set up. Now your Windows Media uh, sharing between videos and all that will work. I, this is not a video for Windows Media sharing, okay? That one for Vista, that one's really easy to get. Uh, if any of you want me to do a video about that, just ask me. Anyway, um, first we'll go to Movies. Alright, first let's go to Wolf Lantern Vents. The thing is, is that unless it has this little symbol, it says Wolf Lantern Mass Slacker and then it has that little symbol. Unless it has that little symbol, you're going to your Windows Media Player. This one is your Windows Zoom player on your computer. And this one up here is your actual Zoom player that you connected to it. And its name has a Zoom symbol. Let's go over to the Windows Media Center one first. Whatever plays in the Windows Media Center will play on your Xbox. Just make sure you have it in this folder. And here are all my videos. And that one's relatively easy. But let's just say we want to go over to the mass slacker one, where it has the little zoom symbol. Well, let's click on it. And then you have this. Confusing, right? Not really. All you gotta do is go over to the second folder saying videos. And then all the videos you have that will play on your Windows, media, uh, Windows Zoom player will play on your Xbox. It's the same thing with the Zoom itself if you connect your Zoom player to it. All the videos on it will pop up as well. Now let's try music. Music is actually easier. All you gotta go over for your player is just click music. Find which one you want. It'll even play podcasts if you want it to. Now uh, let's try the regular Windows Media Player. It gives you all the same thing. 
Let's go over to the Zoom player. Basically the same exact thing, except one of your saved playlists can now be worked with as well. Now as for pictures, if you go to your Zoom player, your actual Zoom player, here are all your pictures. Now let's go over to Windows Media Player. Just go over twice and you'll have your regular pictures. Now let's go over to the Wolf Lantern one. Uh, for uh, Either way they're both Wolf Lantern but I mean the Zoom player type one. Confusing, right? Not really. Just go over to the second picture, uh, the second folder that says pictures. Actually, it's the third folder, but either way. Then there's all your pictures. Basically, that's all it. I mean, it's real simple, real easy to do. Uh, no real confusion behind it. And that's how you do it with a Vista computer. It's uh, basically the same thing with the XP, except without the enable sharing. But you will have to do that with the Windows Media uh, Player for that one. Anyway, thank you for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you all in another one of my videos.